If you have to install a non-privacy friendly app on a de-googled phone because you can't find a good alternative, what, consider what considerations should you have and how do you minimize risks of your data? So yeah, um, well, the first thing, you should really take advantage of profiles um, or user accounts on Android. I think profiles are a little bit cleaner and easier to use for most people because it's all in the same user account. But I'll start with user accounts. So kind of like on your computer, you can set up multiple user accounts on Android, and these are completely separate. They actually use their own encryption key for different user accounts and stuff like this. So it's very well separated. So you could have a more privacy invasive user account that's away from your other stuff. The only issue is you're going to have almost like two different notification screens. When you're logged into one user account, you won't get notifications for the other one. And it's a lot to manage. It's a little frustrating, personally. I, I didn't like it that much. Uh, but work profiles were really solid on Android. And essentially, you swipe down into your app drawer and you move over and then you have your work apps. And you can set that up with something like Shelter um, or some ROMs natively support that out of the box. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and that allows you to get notifications from both profiles in the same place on the same user account. And it's really well designed. Um, and it also still compartmentalizes things. It even lets you use a different VPN slot within the work profile. So you can even have a different IP address. Um, and the cool thing is, for example, if you're using iVPN, iVPN has a hardcore mode, which blocks all big tech. So, it, but it's pretty restrictive. So maybe you don't use that on your main profile, but then you set up iVPN. Um, with a second VPN slot in that work profile that has a different filter list enabled to stop different things. So you have a lot more control uh, with that kind of configuration, and that's what I'd recommend looking into. Um, it's a really nice way to compartmentalize privacy-friendly versus non-privacy-friendly applications on Android, um, especially if you have access to custom ROMs. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.